Adobe Premiere Rush and Pro are in the same category, but for different audiences. If you're looking for their comparison, this is the video for you. So let's get into it. So what's the main difference here? Premiere Rush is a simple video editor designed for vlogging style videos. It's available for free on desktop and mobile devices. In contrast, Premiere Pro is an all-in-one video editor offering many editing options for videos from social media to movies. Unlike Rush, it's premium and only available for desktop computers. Premiere Pro can do everything Rush can do, but applying edits in Rush is easier than in Pro. The reason Rush is easier is because it has a basic layout where you find transitions, audio, graphics and effects options. Most options require a few clicks, which means you will give more control to Premiere Rush. Premiere Pro on the other hand wants you to take control. It throws all the options at your face and follows your command. This makes Premiere Pro challenging to use. Now, text titles are part of both programs. In terms of quantity, we find many on both. Rush has many animated graphic titles to add to the video. After adding a title, you get the font, font size, color and other related data. Premiere Pro has the power of importing third-party titles. You can download titles from Mixkit and other websites and use them in your projects. Also, along with the built-in options, many effects have custom options for that perfect result. Let's talk about audio now. We have an audio library on Rush, whereas Premiere Pro is integrated with Adobe Stock to find and download music. Of course, most content on Adobe Stock costs money. Regarding audio tools, both will suit different people. Premiere Rush has quick options for noise, sound balance, volume, etc., which is enough for vloggers. Premiere Pro extends those tools by providing a fully functional audio system that gives you more control over your audio. Premiere Pro can deliver many things, but you are in the driver's seat, so it all comes down to your editing skills. Alright, it's time for video and color grading. Premiere Rush has many built-in presets. You can also import your own, but there are not many on the internet. Premiere Pro has video effects for styling, blurring, color correcting, keying, etc. Also, it has a powerful color grading tool that gives you power over how your video should look and feel. So, in terms of transitions, Premiere Pro is the king. It already has several transitions and you can download and import transitions to your project. Premiere Rush has 15 transition effects, which is okay, but not great. Okay, let's move on. In terms of exporting, Premiere Rush only supports MP4, but it comes with a few presets such as 720 pixels, 1080 pixels and even 4K. On the other hand, Pro supports most audio, video and image options. It has platform specific settings for YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, Adobe Stock, Apple devices, etc. Alright, what we covered here is the limit of Rush. Pro has more options. It has options that even many professional editing programs don't support. Those make Premiere Pro a one-stop solution for editing, color grading and post-processing videos. Now before we end this video, I want to talk about the cost involved in both. Rush is free for basic edits. The premium version has a few premium options and graphic titles. You also get 100GB of storage and Photoshop Mobile Premium for $10 per month. Premiere Pro on the other hand is not free. However, the best thing about Premiere Pro is that it brings the Rush premium version. So you can pay $21 per month and get Premiere Pro, Premiere Rush and 100GB of storage. So which one should you choose? Well, it depends on what you want to achieve. Premiere Pro is all you need if your goal is to upload vlogging videos to social media. If you want to sit at your desk and briefly edit and polish your video, you must try Premiere Pro. Even though it's complex and some of its tools may not apply to you today, those most likely will in the future. Anyway, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I'll catch you later. Take care.